Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie reaction and today we're going to react to Yoruba Mijikashi Arukeo Otome or Night is Short Walk on Girl. Now this is a movie I'm guessing which is related to Tatami Galaxy. I reacted to Tatami Galaxy uh, the episodes in my channel and I've completed it. So that's why, you know, I was a little bit curious and I wanted to check this movie out. And since I usually do movie reactions every week, so like, you know, today I'm going to react to this. Now, I'm not sure how like you know, it is related to, but I kind of saw the art style and all. It's really similar. Not really. It's similar to Tatami Galaxy. It's, it's kind of the same. So and I'm guessing I, maybe we're going to get some kind of you know, maybe maybe it's a, a movie which is happening in the same universe or uh, maybe we're going to get to see some characters we've already seen in tatami galaxy i don't know there must be some kind of relation so let's check that out so without further ado let's get started with night is short walk on girl so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuji <coughs> Animation Studio. Okay. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, the art style is completely the same. Yeah, they're all red. Is that drinking, I guess? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. This girl. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. What is happening? Wait, are they in a train? <laughs> I don't like his voice. <laughs> S E E strategy. C strategy. Oh, so this is the strategy. Coincidence strategy. Oh. Seen every time. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Removing obstacles. <laughs> Photo. Wait, really? Oh! <laughs> oh, who's this? Another one of his friends? Another friend. Dawn Under- What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> what the groom is almost <laughs> okay oh there she is whoa what is she doing she's imitating a train oh Night is short, walk on girl. Okay. <laughs> so she wants to be like, you know, <laughs> she, she, whoa. So she wants to be kind of like an adult. And this guy wants to, like, you know, like, coincidentally meet her so that she actually feels something for him interesting and she's going <laughs> wow fancy <laughs> okay <laughs> just like an adult Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, fake. Oh, fake Denki Ben. So it became more valuable than the real one? Is that? Ah, it became real, uh, uh, even more rare than the original one. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. I'm fine. Oh my god, this guy is similar to the guy in Tatum Galaxy. Oh my god, what the hell? Yo. Hmm. No, oh, damn. That's sad. <laughs> um hello okay yes yeah thank you whoa hanuki and higuchi <laughs> oh are they traveling the world i think that's yeah, they're traveling the world. I think so. Or maybe it's in the same place. <laughs> Bed chamber in what? His voice changed, Higuchi's. 
didn't it? Like, I don't remember her, his voice being like this in Tatum Galaxy. Friendship? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that... Oh, that... Oh my god! Oh no, that... Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Joseph Argoy. Um, what? Um, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting way of thinking. Well, that's a bit too far. <laughs> what? Oh my god, he's sad. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I... Whoa, what is happening? Oh my god, is she going to start? Yeah! <laughs> oh, is, is that... Hmm. 
Flying technique? What? What? <laughs> Why is he wearing pants? <laughs> is this so what the? Whoa! Nice way of representation of how, like, you know, time is relative. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is a real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, they got reminded of their, you know, of their young age. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Rihaku. Oh. Oh my god. He got stuck with him. <laughs> Tornado. Oh my god, that's sad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving away his collection. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, Yaku, the, the guy who's uh, they were talking about. And who can hold, you know, the dr his drink. <laughs> Are they going to meet like that? You know, like the lady. Okay, she's going to come here. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, that's a good parlor trick. Damn, they can drink. Oh, that. Oh. 
Oh, the, the bride and the groom. Oh, that's not. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's not cool. All right. <laughs> Tragic loss. <laughs> and there they are. Six meter. No, oh, he could see. Oh my god, there they are. <laughs> oh! Yo! Calm down! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> this is chaos! What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Whoa! What is happening? Oh, is this the person they're talking about? Dihaku. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, damn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh no! <laughs> yeah! All right, is, is this the place they're going to have the fight? Drinking contest. Oh, this is Rihaku? Yeah, I think so. Huge place. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You've seen a lot of things. Just talking from experience.
Oh no, his time, yeah, it's going so fast. <laughs> wow. Wow! Following my trade. Tra Deception of the drink. Okay. Okay, he lost. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, punch. Yeah. <laughs> okay I guess oh no it's <laughs> oh 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 no <laughs> well, evenly spaced. Hmm. Hmm. Ratatata. Oh. Oh, that was what she was doing, like, you know, impersonating the train. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> they're here. Oh. <laughs> it was him. Ozu, there you go. Oh! Books borrowed. Uh, video. Damn, letters sent. Kind of. But they kind of, as they said, the police. Ah. Oh, well, what, what are these people? Ah, there you go. Damn, there are even... <laughs> Auctions, okay. Oh. Okay. From the flyer. There you go.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Birds, beasts, and relatives. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow, the, the amount, the duality of them. Wait, is this... It's Ozu! What the hell? <laughs> it's Ozu! <laughs> Ah, dang Hmm. No. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Damn. Awesome. <laughs> oh no, again. <laughs> Take that off, quick. Oh my god! Yo! Please get- oh god! <laughs> oh great! <laughs> oh! Mm, they're here. I saw that too. Wait, is he the? Um, is he the one that the? Uh... Uh <laughs> twenty five years. Wait, who the is that guy? Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh what oh <laughs> wow this is really <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> wow, everyone's listening. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone is like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me let me just go. Oh boy. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Hook <laughs> size painting. Okay. Oh, Higuchi is also there. <laughs> Feast of Demon. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, it's hot, I think. Whoa. No hot pot. Whoa! Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Oh! There you go! Okay! Come on! Okay. Ah! Oh my god! Ooh, <laughs> Yuji is like nothing. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay. Whoa.
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, they're still Ah There you go. Four four more people left. Whoa. Ah And that's it I think. Yeah. Oh my god, Ozu and he is only left. Come on. Uh <laughs> Rainbow Streamers <laughs> Yeah Oh my god Whoa Whoa, he brought out a snake. Nice. Oh. Oh. He lost. Okay, quick, grab the book. I'm sure something else is going to happen now. Okay, okay, there it is. Nice, grab it. And that's it. Okay, they're here. Uh, what the? Whoa! Okay, don't let go of that book. <laughs> oh no. Okay, he still has the book. Okay, okay, oh no, no, oh no! <laughs> My future is waiting. <laughs> Resurrected. Okay. Ah, uh, they got them. Nice. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, what's happening? Oh. Eccentric king. Oh, oh. Is, is that girl? Who, who, the, who, the, who the underpants guy met? I think so. <laughs> Gaudi. <laughs> is, is this a budget yoga sake senpai or something? <laughs> Yeah, it is a budget joke, Saka Senpai. <laughs> oh no, not Kauri. <laughs> hmm. 
Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that that. Ah. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> School festival. Oh, he, he kept, kept hanging on to it. <laughs> oh! No, don't touch it! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> or you can just go and hand it over to her directly. <laughs> I guess he can't do that, obviously. He, he's all about the coincidences, so I guess. Whoa! Damn. Centric King. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Go. <laughs> the monkey and the... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the Manu uh, Mochiguman. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, Kauri. Whoa, what are these games? What the hell? Hmm. Hmm. No, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Fifth footed Coco, that's oh, that's the sweet foot. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Dharma is still here. The Dharma is still there. Oh, 
Oh, the... Oh my god. The Gorilla Theater. <laughs> you do it. Wow. Oh, damn. All right. Oh, this is the... <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh my god, they're here. Run, run. <laughs> oh, he's also here. Hmm. Oh yeah, they got captured. Author. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're following them. The, 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 it's they're following the Daruma. Yeah, it was not there. <laughs> okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah, they're following them. Okay. They found it out. Okay, they, now they can just follow them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. It was supposed to be uh, the other girl. So that's why he, he did that. Okay. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this guy's still trying. <laughs> Whoa! He got his boost. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Bells are twisted. That's Oh my god Okay, they, they're almost at the roof Oh Wait, how did Oh, through the Okay Oh, okay. The last song. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god, he did that right? <laughs> <laughs> he is still not a worn. Oh no! Oh no, he's got stuck! Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh! Oh god. Oh no, he's gonna get punched or something. Oh wow. <laughs> Coincidence. <laughs> Uh Oh, no. Oh. oh my god. Uh Oh, wait, it's not the same. That's not that girl. Who is it? It's someone else. Hmm. 
Wow. I don't think that's a girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, whoa! <laughs> Unexpected! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Whoa, this is got like very serious. <laughs> um <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Um, this is a problem. Is he? So he got something like he's very red. I think he's ill or something. He's been coughing for quite a while. Okay. Uh, yeah, he he's really. F um. Okay, what is she doing? Oh! <laughs> Funny thing, koi means love in Japanese as well, and the fish is also called koi. <laughs> Play on words. Okay, don't fall. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this guy. Rosefield campus life. <laughs> oh, wait, what?
Oh yeah. Mm. <coughs> Alone by you. Oh boy, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Be an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Junpai, though. Oh. Wait, really? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, it's like stormy. Oh, he's also sick, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Damn, oh. Oh, what is he doing? Everyone's sick. Uh, well, <laughs> Play with them. <laughs> Ginger cola. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because of that. Oh, his name is... Oh, the... oh that, that guy, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's just she's just going forward and <laughs> oh Johnny yeah 
No, <laughs> that's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's also here. Whoa, this is. Oh, he's the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so it's like a cycle going on. You know, like it came from another person and then it. Oh, she's all right now? <laughs> Finally got sick. Wow, Higuchi got sick. That's pretty big deal. <laughs> Riyaku cold. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I wonder why sh she's not affected by it. Wow. <laughs> This is something. The whole, whole barrier. Whoa! Oh, it's like a demon lord is living inside. <laughs> oh no, the time. How many decades? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, by the... <laughs> yeah, I was saying that that's how they're connected. <laughs> wow. What a great connection. <laughs> mm, true. That's also true. Hmm. <laughs> Whether they like it or not. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, wait, it started going back. <laughs> oh Oh uh, Senpai Oh. Oh my god, there you go, the title. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> to Senpai. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, everyone starts somewhere, just so they start. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a line. Oh. <laughs> Johnny Yeah, Johnny calm down. It's not <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh God. Yeah. 
damn this is even harder than uh, okay girls on internet <laughs> What the? Listen. <laughs> this is now can help. Oh wow, they're, they're doing a little. Wow. <laughs> Take shelter. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, Johnny's here. Nice. <laughs> Johnny's breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh my god they locked it uh, but johnny's not giving up there you go <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa, what are those? <laughs> oh, there's a There you go Oh, he, she's almost at the brain <laughs> Master, get ready Whoa, look at the internal condition. Oh, God. Damn. Okay. Oh my god, Johnny. Ooh. Oh god.
Wow, <laughs> what a dream. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, really? Hmm, by chance. <laughs> the last push. Oh no. Oh wow. Interesting. Like 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 the whole thing with code, I'm gonna talk about this later on. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. <laughs> wow. True. Like it was a long night. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is this that scene from Tatami Galaxy when a girl gets in the cafe? Whoa! Wow, I, I knew this was going to be good, but I, I think it exceeded my expectations. Like... <laughs> oh boy, wow! <laughs> now, the last scene, you know when we see her get in, you have seen Tatami Galaxy. I remember there was an episode where I think the main character and Ozu was also there, most probably. They were talking in the diner kind of place and we see a girl entering from outside. You know, I thought that was Keiko, like I think at that moment the whole thing was with Keiko was going on, who is Keiko and all that stuff. Like, you know, uh, something like that was happening, I don't remember, but I thought it was someone else. But most probably this is the scene that we saw in Tatami Galaxy, like her entering. I don't know, it's just something because the, the place where they, they had the like, you know, uh, date. It's very similar to the place where the main character was in Tatami Galaxy, you know? A lot of things kind of um, overlapped in a way. Obviously, we get the two characters, Higuchi and Hanuki are here. Like, that's the biggest, you know, overlap.
And other than that, we also saw Ozu kind of in a way, like you know that little kid. And we also saw the main character in some little cameos and stuff. Did we see Akashi-san? I can't remember. I don't think so. Or maybe we saw and I missed it. Something like that must have happened. Who knows? We also got a budget Jogasaki Senpai. <laughs> and a budget Kaori. <laughs> okay. Ah. Whoa. Now. One thing. Um. I'm thinking, you know, like like the whole thing with the cold, I'm thinking about it, like a proper explanation because first, when he son she suddenly got that cold, I thought, oh okay, maybe the cold is somehow related to the feelings of people, you know. Uh, their romantic feelings or something but then I kind of scratched that out because uh, the old guy I forgot his name he was also affected by it so I think it's not like that it's a little bit different that's what I'm trying to actually figure out like what was it actually that affected the cold like I, I'm sure there was a little symbolism there in the end you know when uh, the girl gets the cold Hmm. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, all of them. Okay. That's the end, I think, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, as I was saying, now, one thing, the whole cold, you know, the, the, the whole thing with the cold. I'm sure there was a symbolism, as I said. Like, you know, when the girl suddenly caught the cold. Now, I think most probably, uh, like, you know, the, the cold was something related to the emotions or the feelings, I think. I'm not so sure. Because as soon as the girl, like, you know, the girl was going on a journey to find that one thing for her, you know, to find her fate. So maybe like, you know, maybe the cold is some kind of symbolism about fate or something, you know, like of, uh, like, you know, being content, something like that, most probably, because all the people who caught the cold, like every one of them caught the cold, but she was exempt from it, unless and until she comes and, uh, you know, meets senpai and talks with senpai. And then when senpai, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, invites her to for a coffee date. Um, that's when she suddenly, you know, uh, like catches the cold. Excuse me. Um, just a sec. I'm trying to find that potion again. Yeah, like they're talking, and then then like you know, he he says that okay, like there's this place here. Should we go and meet again? She accepts and then suddenly like you know she says that a cold it seems I've called caught a cold too yeah I'm sure this this has some kind of deeper symbolism I cannot probably pinpoint it but I think it's somehow related to her feelings you know like as she said that uh... oh I think I realized what it actually was <laughs> You know the the saying in Japanese, 
baka wa kase wa hikanai or idiots don't uh, catch cold it, it was kind of referenced in this movie as well when they were talking about higuchi <laughs> so like you know it's something like that now here's the thing Stu- the stupid thing like you know that the, the thing that they mean by stupid here is not being like you know foolish not that it's it's being stupid in life like you know like doing stupid stuff doing like you know living your life so, like like you know people say that living your life is kind of like you know full of stupidity you know living your youth properly like if there's no stupid thing in your life your life has been a dull life you know your youth is full of stupidity so like i think that stupidity was missing from her life you know that's why um no wait a minute no no sorry I- i'm saying it reverse just a sec um let me think about it uh idiots don't catch cold mm. oh no maybe that's not it i don't know like i'm i'm getting like you know like uh like he she caught the cold in the end so that means she's not a stupid like you know not an idiot anymore is it like referencing to her obliviousness of how like uh most maybe maybe that's it you know uh like you can take this in either way like she like you know she was kind of moving forward as like as uh, i think it, it, did it did higuchi no not higuchi the old guy said that uh, what was the name of the old guy I forgot um just a sec uh what was it i don't know anyways um um i can't find it now but yeah as i was saying like the old guy says that you know you have been moving forward like you know looking forward always without looking back or without looking in your sights you've just been going forward so like you missed someone who actually was trying so much who was trying to do so much for you you completely overlooked that person like that thing like i think that is kind of denoting her it, like you know her being an idiot i'm not so sure because all this time she did not catch a cold because uh she she was an idiot uh, like you know like that thing like she was not even looking sideways she's always trying to find her fate whereas her fate was kind of trying to catch her and she was like you know like as she was trying to go and find her fate she was actually running away from her fate in a way so maybe that's why like you know she was kind of an idiot so she did not catch the cold and then in the end when she actually realizes you know like when she talks with senpai and she actually realizes uh her like that yeah my fate is here <laughs> her like you know her being an idiot kind of gets revoked and she suddenly catches the cold i don't know this is how i interpret it you know i'm sure there are a lot of, of other interpretation inter- interpretations as well but this is just how i interpret it and who knows <laughs> like it's kind of like you know like i think maybe this is really it like like you know like because they really referenced the uh, saying that idiots don't catch a cold higuchi said that and i'm sure that it is somehow connected with her suddenly catching the cold <laughs> like you know like the way she says that it seems i've caught a cold too like you know that that really symbolizes that her change in feelings kind of reflects in her suddenly catching the cold like she actually understood and that's why she is not an idiot anymore she caught the cold <laughs> okay you know because all of them caught the cold you know like even higuchi caught the cold because uh like you know in the end because obviously like yeah uh, what can i say like he he's also kind of involved with hanuki so in a way and that kind of does not make him a, a, an idiot so who knows i don't know like I, i'm just like this is just how i interpret it maybe i'm wrong and the biggest fool was obviously senpai you know the biggest idiot so that's why i'm i'm sure she like you know the main main like you know center of the cold was surrounding him <laughs> oh boy so yeah it's a really great movie like there's a lot of symbolism here and uh you know like it kind of shows us how like you know how um the main character not the main character but the main male lead here he like you know he 
he's doing like you know trying to do so so much things for uh like like he, he was trying to what can i say like the whole thing with coincidence that he was talking about like he was actively trying but the way he was trying was kind of not like you know direct like <laughs> you know what he did like you know the, the thing like he says that coincidences are something that i'm trying actually aiming for like you know like i'll be uh, like coincidentally meeting her and someday she'll realize that oh like maybe this is my fate and he was trying to go with that approach now like that's all well and good but i think like his way of doing it was as as we saw like you know like he's a fool he's an idiot so that's why like when he got the book when he got the ratter i think it's called ratter tatam when he got that what did he do i thought he was probably going to go and hand it over to her no what did he do he goes to the <laughs> the 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 place uh that place i forgot the name uh, picks it as an exhibition you know in, a, in an exhibition box and is standing beside it so that coincidentally the girl comes in and she finds it and he actually handed hands it over to her like this thing like it's a very unique way of approaching it's not like you know like the, the, there are some characters who barely even try to like you know uh, do anything they just kind of lament and like you know fuss about like oh like she's like you know she's not liking me like they they're not proactive that's what i'm trying to say a lot of characters in i've seen in an anime as well a lot of in a lot of other animes where the uh, male lead or something they're not proactive at all it's not like that here no definitely not like that he's proactive but he's doing something in a very twisted manner which kind of makes him a fool you know and that's why <laughs> like the whole thing like you know um happened i don't know um it's kind of funny like obviously he was trying to catch his fate you know he was trying to go after his fate whereas his fate was also trying to catch her fate but in a completely different direction like it was a complete mess but in the end somehow like you know they actually like you know the the the, the, the they kind of find out that yeah not they but she kind of finds out that yeah i have been going forward too much i should probably stop now and look back for a little bit because we saw her we saw her she was just running forward you know without stopping running forward and that's how he liked living her life you know like he wanted to live her life the the one night the whole the night that they were like living for such a long amount of time so i think that the whole thing with the time is also really interesting like it's another symbolism that we see here where the old people are saying that oh my like you know my time is going so quickly you know like like my time like uh, like it's almost gone like every, the, the clock's hand are going so quickly it kind of shows how like you know like that the perspective uh, the, the 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 thing with uh, time that is relative to people time is relative to people when you do something really uh, like you know fun time goes quickly when you do something really boring time goes slow so in a way you know like i'm i'm sure like the way she was living his life life was very fulfilling so that's why it uh, like you know it it felt as if her time was going so slowly whereas the old people they they had some kind of grievances in their life which kind of showed you know the increased pace of time in their clock i'm not sure i i think this is what they were trying to actually symbolize uh, and you know they they were like freaking out oh my god my time is almost gone like you know like what am i even doing like all those stuff but he was having her time of the life she was just like you know having fun doing her own thing uh, living her life fully so that kind of shows how her time was going slowly and that also shows how this night was so long you know it, it was a night solely for her it was a night it was just the night just, was just for her and finally when she actually finds out her fate her destiny 
uh, the night ends and they like you know they, they come back to the actual normal uh, time pace so I don't know like you know I, I only saw this uh, like you know this is the first time I'm seeing it so I'm sure I missed a lot of symbolisms a lot of things but I can kind of understand what they were trying to tell us you know and this is how I interpret this whole uh, movie and uh, yeah also another interesting thing that happened in this movie was the whole um <laughs> the, the play the play that was happening you know uh the the, the play with uh, what was that uh uh the, the, the underwear senpai and uh the other the other girl uh, that was full of twists and turns you know <laughs> first it was the whole thing with apple and then suddenly <laughs> like you know like then the main character comes in and like uh topples him from that place and he again like you know sabotages the main character and tries to find out who was that apple girl who on whose head the apple fell and it turned out to be the other guy you know the the, the leader of the 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 thing that uh, i forgot uh the name of the department you know it turned out to be him actually cross-dressing and uh, then he like you know uh, then the underwear senpai says that no um like you know the like the thing that i that i fell in love because of the uh like you know the thing that happened that the whole falling of the apple on your head that was what triggered it you know like you being a man does not matter so but the uh, the girl was disappointed the other girl who was always looking like you know looking at him from a distance and then <laughs> then in the end like uh, the main character kind of i think it's the main character didn't he yeah uh like <laughs> like like opens the trap door the the the, the, uh, the other guy falls down and like opens and and the koi the, the koi that was uh, actually like uh, falling from the sky it fell on both of their heads and there's another like you know wordplay thing that they did there like that those were koi fishes and koi means uh, love in Japanese like you know like it's all like the, the ship is called koi fish but at the same time koi also means love in Japanese so you know both of the koi falling on their head kind of made them <laughs> realize and all that like you know their feelings and after that they kind of get together so <laughs> that was funny and uh, <clears throat> yeah a lot of things happened as we saw the whole thing with the play that happened then uh, the, 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 at the beginning we saw the, the the drinking competition you know and uh then the um there was oh then we met a uh, little ozu i I'm, I'm not i don't think that was actual ozu but who knows who that was but it's kind of like you know like look looked like ozu and obviously the voice was also the same and he called himself the god of the what uh the god of the uh, old books i think yeah yeah maybe he was that you know maybe he was really the god of the old books because in the end we also see when the main character was uh, reading the uh, ratatatam uh, the face kind of came out you know his face and he said that okay like the girl is coming to you so maybe he really was the god of the old books and you know like that thing happens and where they actually like find out all the books that has been taken away and uh, mm, oh and, the, and then the scene the the main character actually trying to get the book from the guy you know by eating those like spicy food and uh, like I, I was really happy that he was like in, you know able to keep the book like I, I'm, I'm glad that when like all the stuff were happening where <coughs> the books are actually trying to run away fly away he kept it kept holding on to it and it, it like you know it dragged him throughout the whole place but he still did not give it away so that was good like i was half expecting the whole thing to actually like you know like fly away from his hands and he him losing the book but thankfully that did not happen so yeah And that was it. This was this was a really great 
you know, uh, mo uh, movie. Now, obviously, like, uh, this has something similar to uh, Tatami Galaxy. And, but even if you, you're watching this for the first time, I doubt anything will be the problem. You'll face any problem because this is a completely different story. It, it just has some characters that were present in Tatami Galaxy. That's just it. And small little references, you know. So that's just that's basically it nothing else so if you still not watched you not not watch tatami galaxy this is like you know this, this won't be a problem for you to watch you will definitely understand the story but the two main characters that were obviously like related heavily in with in tatami galaxy is higuchi and hanuki and i don't know what they were doing here together uh like you know or like what is actually happening like is this the same obviously this is the same universe as Tatami Galaxy but is this the same time that that is happening or is it after everything happened in Tatami Galaxy this is happening like you know like where Hyuchi and Hanuki actually goes out to uh, travel the world like is it happening during that time or is this happening during uh, I don't think this is happening during the time when Tatami Galaxy was happening because Higuchi and Hanuki are very friendly here they're like together and everything so I'm, I think most probably this this is happening after Tatami Galaxy you know after everything happened in Tatami Galaxy where Higuchi and Hanuki kind of end up together in the end so yeah so that's just it like you know like these two characters are the main characters who were related to Tatami Galaxy a few other cameos here and there you know like little stuffs and all little references that's just it like you know like this is a completely different story so like um obviously like tatami galaxy in itself is a great story so like if you're not watching it you should definitely watch it but this you know watching this movie is not a problem if you have not watched tatami galaxy you just miss a few references that's just it so yeah <clears throat> and uh what else yeah that's it i think so yeah as i was saying so this is uh amazing i have to say like this is definitely a really unique i i was expecting this to be good but i as i said like it kind of exceeded my expectations you know like it has a very comedic and happy type of a story and the ending was also really great and uh yeah it's very good so yeah i'm trying to see if i missed anything mentioning anything mm. no that's just it so yeah so yeah that's it so this was a story about a girl who just looked forward and wanted to go catch her fate but doing that you know like trying to go and meet her fate trying to go along the th red thre thread of fate she actually did not realize that her fate was actually chasing her and her by like you know her actually going forward kind of made it you know kind of made it that they did he, she did not meet her fate until the end and by going forward she met with a lot of new things you know she met a lot of new characters she had the time of the, her life and in the end when she was like you know like like everything was she experienced everything in the end she actually comes to a stop and turns back and actually goes back a few steps so that she can catch her fate who has been tirelessly trying to catch up with her uh, in vain <laughs> you know and in the end uh like she also catches the cold and as i said like you know like that's i'm sure that's the symbolism of her actually realizing uh like you know that yeah i have also caught up with my fate so it's it great and uh, oh and, and another thing and the kind of like you know was interesting is the whole scene where she actually tries to get in to the uh, main characters you know inner uh like you know inner uh, what do you call it like her inner his inner workings like you know like there's this is huge place and all the like uh the main character little main characters like you know the silhouettes of the sh the shadows of the main character were kind of like 
like acting really weirdly like you know like when she was coming they, they were like scared running away <laughs> and then some of them were actually trying to go and catch her and she used her like you know the, those foods to kind of lure them away and then johnny comes in like you know ramming inside <laughs> his instincts kind of try to like overwhelm him you know and ultimately johnny kind of shoots her and she was actually trying to fall prey to the instincts of the main character but finally the actual heart of the main character you know um the uh you know the actual main character she he kind of snaps out and go and saves <laughs> her from falling into the clutches of his instincts like that was a really great way they kind of showed us that you know like when she was almost falling into the uh, sea of the johnnies you know the johnny johnny is the uh, personification of his instincts so when she was trying like if almost falling in it like the main character comes in and saves her and the hard thing is actually his wings which he used to fly away and <laughs> that was that was great so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh yoruba mijikashi arukeo otome uh the night uh, night is short walk on girl the the title really like now that i'm watching uh, like you know reading the title i can understand what it's actually trying to tell you know, you know the night is short so walk on and she keeps walking <laughs> she keeps on walking uh, without realizing like you know uh, that another person is actually trying to chase her so in the end which obviously she realizes and uh, yeah so yeah that was it so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh, night is short walk on girls so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or your impressions of this show or like you know anything if i missed something because as i said like this is a show which has heavy symbolisms and i tried my best to kind of you know make my own interpretations of the way, the way they showed everything in this show but i might be wrong somewhere here and there so if you guys have a different type of way you interpreted it or if you have some other type of way you saw this the symbolisms like this symbolism as i said like different people will see this in a different way and that's the fun in it so if you have any kind of other explanations be sure to like you know let me know in the comment section so yeah okay um next day uh, uh not next day next week next week another anime movie i'm going to do uh react to paprika so next day i'm going to react to that so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another anime movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day